What's up, Drama Alert Nation? It's your boy, Cancer Cabbage. Ignore the loud noises outside. It's hot and I've got to have my window open. Now, as you may be aware, one of my videos was recently taken down for violating copyright. I contested it uh, and said that I did no such thing, and eventually the copyright strike was removed. Hooray! Now, I promised the story's author that I would help clear things up over here on my channel and that she would do the same on hers. So before I get into the meat and potatoes of the matter, I would like to right off the bat correct two mistakes I made in my video calling her out. Because hey, you know me, I'm an arrogant cunt, and I don't do humility very well, but I'm willing to admit that I was wrong. Now the first was my assertion that she claimed a false copyright strike because she didn't like Matt and Toby criticising her story. I wasn't actually in that video, so I won't include myself. That seemed logical, because uh, she was the author of the story uh, that we made fun of on the episode. In actuality, her issue was with the fact that our editor took the drawing from the story on DeviantArt and used it as the title image for the video. She felt this was a violation of her copyright, we didn't feel the same way, yada yada yada, I'll get into that in a bit. I'd also like to apologise for being so emotional and using the kind of language I did towards her and just acting in a sort of unpleasant way. Um, I won't go into too many details and I don't want to sound like I'm making excuses for myself. Um, my, you know, my family and I are dealing with a lot of issues, people who know me in person already know that. I'm under a huge amount of stress and the timing of this whole strike thing was super unfortunate. And I acted like a jerk and I will endeavour to do better in regards to acting responsibly uh, with this platform that I'm very lucky to have. So yeah, basically that, I mean, on the subject of that, I, you know, I, I gotta just not let my emotions get the better of me. Now the second mistake, um, which is arguably a bigger one because it encompasses a larger issue, um, was that I made a statement that because a person puts their work on a website like DeviantArt or Wattpad rather than an actual personalised website, you know, like suchandsuchauthor.com or whatever, that the story is in the public domain. Now that's not actually true. Um, it's a, I've looked at a little bit into this and it is a common misconception that seems to plague the community here on YouTube, but regardless of how many people believe it, it's inaccurate. Um, while of course sticking your work on Wattpad doesn't exactly hold the same you know, uh, weight as registering a copyright patent, trademark, etc. It is still your intellectual property. Um, and while that doesn't affect the fair use issue um, that I want to discuss in this video, I felt like it was worth bringing up my error here because I know that's a mistake a lot of people make and um, I don't, having learned a bit more about it, I don't want to be a person that continues to, to push you know, a piece of information that's false. Now Delicat, the author of The Bloody Painter, is also an artist and animator and has had to deal with a lot of people simply re-uploading her images uh, and her animations onto YouTube with no meaningful changes or, you know, dry reading her story without any commentary or criticism, said that kind of stuff. But because of this, she, rightly or wrongly, began enacting a policy of simply copyright striking any video that she saw use her artwork, um, you know, without express permission. Now, if you haven't seen the original video, it was around 20 minutes long, and we used uh, Delicat's art uh, for about five seconds as a frame of reference for what the character of Helen, um, which I'm still adamant is a boy's name, uh, would look like. Toby and Matt gave the story the usual BCP treatment, you know, using it as a framing device for silly jokes, offering some constructive criticism when necessary, you know, producing a largely transformative work. Initially, uh, Delicat didn't see it that way, and we had a long argument on Facebook DMs, which wasn't just due, uh, the length of it, that is, to stubbornness, um, that did play a factor, but due to a massive language barrier. Uh, Delicat's first language is not English, and she is still learning. Um, once we both relaxed a little bit, we were able to see each other's points of view. Unfortunately, uh, my video had sparked a lot of aggression towards her, which I accept responsibility for. Um, she re uh, repaid me in kind with a video that was hugely inaccurate, not intentionally accurate, you understand, and she has since apologised. Um, but that video made it seem as though we had ignored her Facebook messages and decided to steal her videos wholesale and re-upload them to our channel and yada yada yada. And because of that, some very harsh, if rather amusing, um, comments in broken English uh, started appearing uh, on our channel uh, from her fans. So sort of a taste of our own medicine on that one. Um, having talked on and off for a few days, I realised that this person is not unpleasant or incapable of taking criticism, but rather someone from a different culture with a different understanding of how to handle these types of matters. When I was finally able to get through to Delicat about the whole fair use thing and the actual order of events surrounding my request for the strike removal, uploading the video, etc., she was very humble and apologised. Um, and I too apologised for letting my emotions get the better of me, as I mentioned earlier, and acting in such an irresponsible manner. Uh, in the end, you know, we agreed that we'd each make one of these videos and delete previous posts covering this whole fiasco. Obviously, 
I can't control what you guys do, but please don't hassle her about the copyright strike. It was, as far as I can tell, an honest mistake. Um, in spite of the somewhat negative nature of all this YouTube drama, this has been a learning experience for me, and I'd go as far as to say I've made a new friend out of it. So, yay? Question mark? Anyway, this is way too heavy and serious, uh, so stupid shit. New Cult Corner uh, coming in a couple of days. I know not as many people watch that because it's only had one episode so far, but it still had really good views for, for a one episode thing, for a five minute video. Um, so thank you guys who did watch it, uh, the first one. The second one's going to be out in a couple of days. We've also got Bad Creepypasta as well because you got part two of, the, of um, Jeff the Killer versus The Rake. Having a great time doing that one. Um, one of our lovely fans made a Discord thing too. Uh, make sure to join that. I'll stick the link in the description. That's pretty cool. Uh, above me on that, yeah. Cheers. I'll see you later. Bye. Have a nice day.